Welcome to the portal. How are you doing this week? Good, good, good. You, you're doing well. I can see that. You're having a great time. That's great. Good to see you. Hey, there's stuff going on. Stuff going on at the school. Would you like to know about it? All right. Well, let's talk about it. Hey, elementary and middle school live in Pittsburgh is March 3rd. Here's the schedule. Show up at 920. Get some cyber work done with teachers to help. Uh, then after lunch is the middle school connect and got science programs. Parents pick up at 2 p.m. Be precise and make sure to register at Palk School. Uh, there's another middle school connect and got Sci at Westchester. They actually wrote got Sci this time. I, I was calling it. See, I started the trend. Got Sci. It's got Sci now. Uh, this is in Westchester on the same day, March 3rd, but it starts at noon. Noon 30. No, noon exactly. Be there at noon. 2-2. Two, two. Not a 2-2, two, two, but from noon to 2. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Uh, it's a game day for middle school. So that's game systems, board games, maybe some parlor games, uh, canasta. Tiddlywinks, those are games, right? Got Sci for elementary with special guests, science tellers, who I assume tell science. I don't know if they tell you things about science or they tell things to science, uh, but they'll be doing cool science demos. Hey, the high school open house is this Wednesday, March 1st. Don't forget, it's in Westchester and Pittsburgh. You come for lunch and interact with your teachers and friends. It's open, it's a house, it's an open house. Uh, registration's closed. So uh, why am I announcing it then? Uh, oh, okay, if you forgot, you can contact a teacher and maybe we can squeeze you in because it's going to be packed. It's going to be standing room only. It might be sitting room only. I, I don't know what that means. Okay, uh, the Philadelphia Freedom 2017 prom. There's two exclamation points there. Prom. Prom. I don't know why it's capitalized. Does it, does it stand for something? People, people rotating over... Okay, it's not an acronym. Okay, uh, it's the Eastern Junior Senior Prom, May 20th. Registration is now open. Hashtag Palk School. Hashtag Palk School? I don't know. Okay, at least go to Palk School. Uh, don't, you can hashtag Palk School too. That's, that's, you know, get it trending on Twitter and then maybe people, will, maybe people will sign up just to go to the prom. I don't know. Stay tuned for info on the Western Prom. The Wild Western Prom. And now let's take some of your questions. Mia in fifth grade asks, Dear Mr. Osborne, last year you used to have different kinds of mugs every week, but now you only have the same mugs. Why? Uh, well, Mia, interesting thing about that is that um, that was not me. That was uh, the other Mr. Osborne, my brother. And I find it interesting that you notice when the mug changes, but not the host. Interesting. Uh, Hayden in seventh grade asks, what is the purpose of virtual chats? You tell me. Brittany in sixth grade asks, do you have a talent? Hold, hold on. No. You know, Brittany, until now, I thought I did. Cole in seventh grade asks, what is your favorite internet meme? Cats. I'm just so glad the internet in invented cats. And Caitlin in third grade says, who will be the next guest on the portal. Well, it's interesting that you would ask me that, Caitlin, because since these questions are kind of delayed from week to week, uh, by the time you've asked it, I was gonna answer it anyway, and I'm going to right now, because my guest this week is Mrs. Fabrizio. Please welcome her. Hello. Hi, thanks welcome. for having me. Good to have you, good to have you. What do you got there? I, this, I usually have a pencil, well, you brought one. This is for you. Okay. It says Got Science, so we're representing here, oh, but I wanted you to nice. have it. You see, right there, Got Science. Now, how long have you been at Palps? This is my sixth year. Six years, yep. okay, well, you've been here for a while then. Oh yeah. Uh, what do you teach? Third grade, all subjects. All subjects? Yes. So, so. you're a master of everything. Well, 
One might might say that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you like science. I love science. You yeah. love science. Okay. So then you should be able to tell us a little bit about Got Science because I've been always wondering what exactly happens at these Got Science events. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's a live event here in Westchester and also in Pittsburgh. Oh. And we do different things. So it really depends. We have them about three times or four times a year. Mm -hmm. And the last one we did was an egg drop. Oh. Which was super cool. Yeah. So the point was just to make sort of an eggy mess on the floor, or was there something about science they were learning? No, the students were actually given different objects, and they put the egg in their um, homemade container, okay. and then they drop them to see which container would prevent the egg from cracking. Oh, you're trying to stop from making a mess. Correct, okay. yes. So when's the next one of these events coming? So we have the science tellers coming in, and they're a group, they're going to do a presentation for us called Race Against Time. Oh. And they bring all kinds of cool experiments with them. They invite the kids up to participate. Really loud, really high energy. Wow. It's a lot of fun. That's really cool. And it's the, it's this Friday, March 3rd. That's right. What time? At 12.30 to 1.30. 12.30 to 1.30. Be here at noon. Get seats, right? I think you got to get there early. Sure. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's time for three questions. What's something students might not know about you? Something students might not know about me is that I'm pretty adventurous. Mm -hmm. I have done lots of things such as I went skydiving. Ooh. I've been in a hot air balloon recently. Oh, that sounds like fun. Zip lining, um, parasailing. There's a lot of things up in the air. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. not afraid of heights. Oh, that's good. for sure. That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, who's your favorite Disney princess? Disney princess, I would have to go with Belle mm. from Beauty and the Beast, mm -hmm. and I'm super excited because that's the right. new movie's coming out. Yeah, very soon. I don't even know when, but soon. March 17th. Well, you see? Yes. Wow, really soon. That's <laughs> yep. great. My, my three-year-old daughter would agree with you. She Aww. loves Belle also. You should take her to see it. Maybe, maybe I'll have to take her to go see that. Uh, white milk or chocolate milk? Chocolate milk by far. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. Still yeah. got all the nutrition, right? It's good for you. And yes. a little bit of chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Double thumbs up. Very good. Well, we have a little bit of an activity for you today. Okay. Um, we are going to play a little game. And uh, you're a fan of the show, I know. I sure am. So you're familiar with the, uh, the cubes and how important they are to our show. You know, I mean, it's great to have somebody who really knows the history of, of the portal that knows about these cubes. So let's move the mugs out of the way here, actually. Let's get them out of here. And um, what we'll do is we're going we're gonna to go just one at a time together. Oh, sorry. Okay. That's, we, 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 we don't need that one. We've got enough here. And, uh, and we'll just stack and we'll count as we go. And then whoever falls first loses and the other person is declared the winner. Okay. okay? Sounds good. All right. So let's start with uh, one. 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 Don't yeah. have to, yeah, let's put them up closer. Let's go. They don't have to be the same color. You can no. pick whichever color okay. you like. Uh, we did pretty good with one, so let's try two. Uh, three. Four. Five. Shaky hands. Six. Now, can we adjust it if it seems like it needs to be? I don't know what are the rules. Can we only touch here? the cube that's going on? I think. I just don't want to. I mean, I just have So let's see, we got six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're going to go a little faster now. Okay. Ten, we're in double digits, so things, cool. are, things are moving. Okay, eleven. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, oh. I don't know. There's there's some physics involved here. <laughs> Twelve. I, oh, okay, okay. Course corrected there. Thirteen. Ah, uh, fourteen. Yeah, this is further than I thought I'd get. Uh, in, in rehearsal, I only got to three. Uh, Fifteen. Sixteen. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Why do these games always end in a tie? How about that? That's pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. 16 is pretty good. 16 I'm impressed. Good. 16 is good. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for coming on the show. Thanks so much and good for luck having with me. Good luck with Science, Thank and you. Uh, you should come on March 3rd. Thanks for watching today. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and we'll see you next week.
shoes. Do you see these shoes? These are shoes that have been walking in for miles. I've been walking for miles in these shoes. I don't know why. I just go. I just keep walking and walking and walking until there's nowhere left to go. Nowhere left to go. My guest this week, Mrs. Fabrizio.